Hello, welcome back to the vlog. My name's Ian, this is obviously Goggles Stars and Trainers, and a uh, bit of a mix up with the vlog, really. Um, I had filmed a video last week and managed to um, corrupt some of the files. So the stuff I've got left doesn't really make sense. So I'm scrapping it, I'm not gonna put it out because there's no point. So I've got a bit of a catch up to do in this video, and then I'm gonna document this training, this week's training. Uh, last Sunday I did an FTP test, and uh, I've not done it for a while actually, it was a 40 p test on Suffer Fest. Um, my FTP was 246. Uh, it peaked last year at 288. Uh, I'm not surprised that it's gone down. I am surprised that it hasn't gone any further if I'm honest. So, um, the plan now is to kind of work on the weaknesses. It came out, I came out as a roller, which is quite surprising, a roller, which is like an all-rounder. When I did it last time, I was a, a, um, a climber, I think, which is more suited to kind of my physique and what I enjoy doing. Anyway, we dug us, put in some suggestions for power targets. So, 900 watts for five seconds by the end of April. 420 watt holding for a minute by the end of May. And then 310, minute watt, 310 watts for five minutes by the end of June, which sounds good. And also on top of that, we're going to work on getting a 5k PV. So, some good stuff in the planning and the offing. Uh, looking forward to it. In terms of immediate short term objectives, what I really want to do is focus on getting every single session here. I'm being, again, inconsistent. I'm going to blame COVID for it, but it's me, if I'm honest. Um, mentally, I've not been in a particularly great place for the last 10 days or so. Um, we've got both. We got both the boys home from school. Maze home from nursery. Myself and Kate are both still working full time. And although I'm working from home, my workload's gone through the roof. I'm a safety manager for a division, a divisional safety manager, and I've got 12 sites that I'm responsible for, and each one of those is kind of crying out for guidance and help. And we've also got people isolating and things. So I've been incredibly busy. Emails don't stop, and my brain never switches off. So plan for this week is to hit every session um, and put out a video next Saturday. Today's Sunday obviously. Right, so um, plan for today is one hour on the bike and an hour 15 run. The hour on the bike is uh, big gear starts and uh, building up big gear, standing start, building up to a cadence of about 60 and then easy pedaling and repeating. And on the run is a hour and 15, including 300, 300 meter repeat. Right, I've, I've talked way too much. I've done this about six times now, this intro. I need to crack on. So I'm just about to start the second of the uh, big gear efforts. I will come back and let you know how I'm getting on. Okay, bike done. Out on the run. Run consists of 15 minute warm up, which I did, and then 12 lots of. 300 meter hard, 90 second recovery. Just in the second 300 meters. And that had a massive, massive headwind. Oh God, that was hard. So, I have about 20 seconds left. Put the camera away, crack on, I'll check back in at the end. Okay, so a minute ago, I said this, 12 lots of, 300 meter hard. I've just finished rep at eight, and I looked at my watch, happened to look at my watch as it told me what the set was. And the set is to run 483 meters, which is 0.3 of a mile. So when I put this into, when I put this workout into Garmin, instead of putting 300 meters or 0.3 of a kilometer, I put 0.3 of a mile. So instead of running 3.6K, I'm running Oh, closer to six. I was wondering why my pace was slow, like 140, 145 for 300 meters, I thought was a bit crap to be honest, I know I'm not training, but that explains an awful lot. Right, these one minute nine, one minute thirties are going an awful lot quicker than I would like them to, so I'm gonna put the camera away, as I've got, there you go, I'll show you. <laughs> Thank God that's done. 
past the 12. <sighs> Managed to do the last one in 153. I'd, I'd got slower, if I'm honest, so I'm about two minutes, a bit gutted, but uh, it's a hard session, so it's going to be good. It's going to have benefited me somehow. Cool down, and I'll see you tomorrow for uh, a band workout. Good evening, it's Tuesday. Uh, bike session, obviously. <laughs> what what I say, bike session. Right, so, been a bit of a crap day on the bike, a uh, crap day at work, to be honest. It's now 25 to 10, and this is the first first opportunity I've had to sit down or get, sorry, my bum on the saddle. Um, Schedule for today is an hour bike, 20 minute run. But I'm not sure I'm going to be doing a run to save me up to 11 o'clock at night. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, schedule for the bike session is a 15 minute warm up and then 30 second hard effort, 15 second recovery, repeat 13 times, then a kind of air gap of three minutes and then repeat it further twice. So it's only actually about 30 minutes of hard effort. Now I tried this workout last week and had a control. So I've got an Elite Doretto, which has been absolutely brilliant. But for some reason last week, or when I tried to do this session last weekend, uh, last week, sorry, I had an absolute dog with it. So first I couldn't get the turbo to do the whole controllable thing on Zwift and then my laptop died <laughs> so I have so many technical issues I think I'm an EMP electromagnetic pulse device I've got a feeling I just destroy electronic devices when they're close to me anyway I'm better luck tonight hopefully last night was uh, Monday strength conditioning session using bands which was quite cool here you go um, I'm enjoying these at the moment Really, I'm enjoying them, and I think that uh, well, I know a lot of people are complaining about the, the whole not being able to get to the pool and social isolation, social isolation and things. But actually, I'm hoping that when I get back to the pool or back to the open water, I'm going to be in a lot stronger than uh, I was beforehand because I'm really trying to stick to my band and stuff, and I'm enjoying it as well. So, anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. I'll come back and let you know how it goes. Oh man, focus. Oh, come on. Right, I'll have to do that because it's so quick. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest is really hard, and my heart rate's not dropping below kind of 165. Go again. Man. Oh. Right, that's it, that's the last 30 second effort done. That was hard. That was really hard. It's just the kind of pace of it. Really good workout, I can highly recommend it. Just kind of go hard for 30 seconds, but not so hard that you can't complete the 13 reps. A three minute effort, so three minute recovery is just enough to kind of get your heart rate down and recover your legs a little bit, ready for the next one. Gotta be honest, that was hard but very enjoyable. Just that kind of pace of rest, go, rest, go, rest, go. Really liked it. Uh, would be good for a kind of short track, cross country or cyclocross type racing. Kind of hard efforts to get clear or make a pass or air a corner and then a bit of recovery and a go again. Well, wow, right, that's it. Uh, I've decided I'm going to do another 15 minutes on the bike to up to an hour and a quarter rather than go for a run tonight because it's, it's now 25 to, uh, 25 to 11. So, uh, yeah, that'll do me. And then I'll see you tomorrow for a swim band and run workout. Cheers. And it's Wednesday. Run session tonight. I've also got a swim band session to do which I probably won't film actually. So tonight's session is a variation of the one that I managed to cock up so monumentally on Sunday. 
but uh, 200 meter effort. So 15 minute, 15 minute warm up, followed by 16 lots of 200 meter hard, 90 second recovery. Before I go any further, short and a t-shirt, quarter to eight in April. Amazing. Loving this weather, even though we're on lockdown. Right, I'm going to uh, crack on this warm map, then I'll see you, uh, see you for the fun. Okay, I'm very aware that I'm losing the light. Uh, so I'll do this quickly. I'll probably have to do something when I finish. I've just done 11, the 11th rep and uh, up until the last two, I've been doing around about uh, 38 seconds per 200. I'm not a sprinter, that's for sure. So uh, last couple have dropped off. I've touched kind of 40, 42 seconds. I think the, the 11th was. So definitely getting tired. Bit of a bit of a pull in my left groin area, which I'll have a stretch of later. Right, I better go. That's uh, that's me rest. See you at the end. Okay, that's uh, that's the workout end. I've just got a little bit of a warm down to do. I've stopped here because it seems to be the best spot for a light around. So, workout was done. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was hard at the end. Definitely the last kind of two or three 200 meter efforts were, were pretty tough. Definitely got my uh, heart rate up. But positively, um, I seem to recover pretty well. So my heart rate in the 90 seconds was getting back down to about 1, 120, 1, 115, I think, for, for resting. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. It obviously means that stuff's heading in the right direction. So things to be positive about, definitely. Right, I can't believe how warm it is. It's, it's about 20 to 9, and it's really warm. It's lovely. Okay, I've got five minutes of cool down left. I'm going to head off, enjoy that, and I'll see you tomorrow for a bike workout. Cheers. It's Thursday and it's a bike workout. So tonight's session is a set of big gear sprints. Um, nine efforts in total, uh, broken down into 15 minute warm up, and then starting in as big a gear as I can, 10 to 15 seconds of hard sprint in, in maintaining that big gear, with a two minute 45 recovery, uh, repeated three times and that's one set and I'll be doing to say three sets of those did this last week and really enjoyed it so quite looking forward to this one my legs don't feel too bad after yesterday I thought to be honest that my legs would feel a bit more toasted than they do um, last night's session kind of <laughs> time bombed me if I'm honest I felt great until I got home and then about an hour after I got home my legs really really ached I stretched and things and it, they, feel, they felt okay but today they feel good so I'm pleased with that right I'm going to uh, get this warm up done get the first couple of efforts out and then come back and let you know how I'm getting on it's really warm tonight and I don't think the fans going to be enough I'm probably going to be a sweaty mess when you see me next but that's definitely a first world problem to have isn't it see you in a minute just finished uh, effort two on second set. Feeling okay actually. Legs starting to tire. But that's what it's all about. I'm not sure I've been, oh, I swear, bang on with my timings, but there or thereabouts, I think. Enjoying it. Enjoying the feel of uh, getting a little bit of power back. Right. Nearly there, on to the next sprint. There we go, session finished. My legs feel nicely, <coughs> nicely warm and tired to be honest, um, but I don't feel broken, which is probably a good thing. Right, I'm gonna get inside, it's 10 o'clock. I seem to be making a habit of late night exercise at the moment. I'm gonna get inside and I'll see you tomorrow for a hills workout. And I did this last week and it was horrible. Right, I'll see you then. Welcome to my Friday, whatever day it is for you. Happy one of those. Right, today is, a, is another run workout. Repeat of last week's, which is a five times four minute. Let the dog off. He needs to watch him go. 
he does hills way quicker than I do. Yeah, so as I was saying, sorry, five times four minutes uh, hill, hill effort. The recovery is the jog back to the start point. And last week I did it on this section of trail road. So from the orange barriers down there to the top of this is called Fernbank, which is a bit of a, a bit of a lung burner. Fergie hasn't been out today. So I thought I'd bring him and we go up into the wood and do it up in the wood. I'm trying to do this bout, this uh, lead unsuccessfully. Yeah, so I thought we'd come up into the wood. He can get his run in and I can do the session without fear of, uh, of bumping, into, uh, bumping into anyone else. Um, the reason I want to do this is because I'm tying the two in together. Um, it's Finley's birthday today. He's seven, which is a bit bonkers. Uh, the one thing he wants to do today was go out as a family on our bikes. So all, all five of us went out on the bikes this morning. Uh, for 20 minutes so I'm, I'm conscious of the whole one exercise per day and I think if I do it up here unlikely to see anyone else um, I don't really want to do it on the roads or anything right I'm going to um, get to the top of this hill it's really hot really, really, I'm not going to complain about that but it's very hot today and I'm worried I'm going to suffer a bit because I've not it's been such a busy day in the house with Finn's birthday and excitement and all the other stuff that you have to do when you've got an excited seven year old I've not actually drank much, so I'm probably going to suffer a bit by the end of this. Um, but there you go. Right, so I'm going to crack on, and I'll see you for the first rep. This is definitely not the workout I was hoping for. I've just done the first repeat. That's absolutely killed me. I feel really dehydrated. I really do. My mouth's so dry. Uh, the uh, 5x4 might be a bit ambitious today. I've also just realised I haven't got my bloody heart rate monitor on. So I'm going to rely on the, the wrist-based garbage that I get out of my Garmin. Oh well. Right. I'm going to uh, run to the top of this and then down the trail to the finish. And then uh, start again. See you in a minute. So, I've made an executive decision. I'm trying to change the workout a little bit. I'm running from the bottom of the hill to the top of the hill. I'm doing the descent, doing a technical descent as opposed to back the way I've run. I'm starting straight away again. And I'm suffering like a dog. This will be my, this is my, Third rep. So uh, the climb's probably longer than four minutes. Uh, I just didn't feel like I weirdly had, a, had it in me for a kind of five times four minute hard efforts. This feels just as tough, but kind of more enjoyable. My legs are tired. Definitely. All right. Get this done. See you in a minute. <laughs> you don't really get a few from the from the camera how steep this is, but it's it's very steep. I'm pretty technical. I love this trail so much built by bikers and I've ridden it a couple of times it's terrifying but to run it is absolutely brilliant Come on, good lad <laughs> he's quicker down here than I am I think he's being kind Uh, all right, okay, so I've just crested the fourth time. I'm gonna head home, I've got a headache. Come in from, I'm so dehydrated. I just fed up with me as well. He keeps giving me devil looks every time he looks at me. Um, it's very warm and I think that's probably, probably the reason why. Tough workout, my legs feel pretty fried to be honest. I'm glad that tomorrow's a work, um, sorry, it's a rest day. So it'll probably do me some good to have, uh, have the day off and uh, get 
ready for another good week of training. I feel happy this week that my consistency has returned. So just need to build on that with another good couple of weeks and I think that'll be the habit formed and then there'll be no stopping us. Right, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I know I don't deserve subscribers, if I'm honest, because I'm just tardy in terms of putting videos out. I would really love to get to 300 subs, though. And uh, Comment down below. Let me know how you're getting on with your training. How has it been affected by the corona self-isolation requirements? Are you still getting out? I hope you are. Um, what adaptions have you made to your training and uh, how are you finding it? Have you done anything mad like Dan? who did a marathon in his living room, mental. Anyway, keep well everybody, and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys.